happen po sa inyong lahat. I am Rachel Nathaniels, the youngest daughter of Ronnie. As much as we would all like Dad to be here for his book launch, we couldn't bring him back to life, could we? However, I know that he is with us in spirit. I feel that. And on behalf of our family, <coughs> sorry, I would like to thank all of you for coming here today. Your time and presence really mean a lot to us. And because the legendary Ronnie Nathaniels couldn't make it today, I'll be the one to give you an overview of what this book is all about, and also try to answer your questions if you would have any later on. So, before I talk about the book, I'd like to say a few words about Dad. A little over two years ago, he left us to be with the Lord. He shared so many beautiful and fun memories with us that we will forever hold dear. More than a remarkable sports analyst and an exceptional journalist, he was a reliable friend and a loving father. He was known to many for his stern character and for telling it like it is, but to those closest to him, it was his incomparable sense of humor that made him unforgettable and maybe his singing. <laughs> we couldn't help but feel broken when he reached the finish line in the race called life. But we all believe he fought the good fight and he didn't finish well. He finished victorious. I remember dad staying up all night, hammering his keyboard like a typewriter and going through his really old scrapbooks and photos. He once asked me, Maybe you can help me finish my book. And here it is, finally. Our family and Viva Books worked so hard to make sure it was done the way Dad would imagine it to be. It's not perfect, and it will never be, but we did our best for someone who deserves nothing but the best. It was pretty emotional going through Dad's scrapbooks and files, but it gave me a clearer picture of who he was and the values he stood for. He had a lot of interesting stories and people would usually tell him to write a book. And so he did. However, he wasn't able to finish it, so our family and Viva Books had to fill some gaps and also censor some parts. But we made sure to preserve Dad's writing as much as possible. You know Dad, he's not a fan of filters at all. The book is basically about Dad's journey from his younger years in Sri Lanka to his move to the Philippines in 1962, the story behind his love for the country and his colorful career as a newsman covering Philippine politics, sports, and entertainment. You will also read about Dad's personal struggles and victories along the way, from how he got his cherished dream of becoming a Filipino citizen and the obstacles that came along with it, to how he stood for his beliefs no matter what the cost. It's an enlightening and amusing memoir that will make you reflect on your nationalism and personal values. This book is Dad's gift to the country he called home, the Philippines, and to the people who accepted him as their own, the Filipinos. Dad was not a Filipino by blood, but he was definitely a Filipino by heart. The epitome of home is where the heart is. He once said, I've tried my very best to fulfill the obligation I felt I owed my country in my work as a broadcast journalist. I may not have reached the heights of success I desired, but it was never for want of trying. I hope that by reading Dad's book, you'd be able to keep his memory alive. And as you go through the pages, may you be inspired to stand up for whatever it is that burns fiercely in your heart. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Maybe you want to write your own book also. <laughs> Just as in that. Reflections on 25 years in the Philippines. <laughs>
and we hope you come back to the Philippines. So, 